Hey guys, what's up? This is Neat here, back with another iOS 6 Beta 2 video. In this one, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Passbook. Now, in the second developer preview, Apple still hasn't added the ability to add passes directly through the application itself. However, when I was at redmonpi.com today, I came across an article talking about a website that you could use to import some test passes to this application so we could get an idea of what this will actually look like when it's fully functional. So uh, be sure to check out that article. The link will be provided in the description. So the website is is called PassSource.com. So if you head on over to this website using mobile Safari if your device is running iOS 6, you'll be able to try this out. So they've got a lot of different uh, test pass options you can use here. Just uh, example passes. They've got a whole bunch of them you'll see here that you can use. And we're just going to select one of these, uh, select the boarding pass. And in here you've got a whole bunch of options that you can use to edit it, uh, like the location, the organization name, the colors of the pass, and a whole bunch of great stuff uh, that you can edit if you would like. But we're just going to leave everything as default for now, and we're going to choose Create. And then what we're going to do is add the pass here. So you see a preview of the pass itself, and we'll select Add. So now that's added, been added to my Passbook application, and we're going to go into Passbook right now. And you're going to see here, these are all the test passes that I've created using this. So we've got our boarding pass here, uh, an LA Fitness membership uh, badge, a coupon, we've got a uh, coffee gift card, as well as an Apple event uh, that's going on. So uh, you can take a look at any of these for more information, you know, all that stuff that you could edit through the Pass Source website itself. And if you select Info right here, you've got your ability to have notifications when, let's say, let um, the gate or the time of your flight's updated, you'll receive a notification that that has happened. Uh, you can also have the ability to have the passes be shown in the lock screen. So if you arrive at the airport, the pass will automatically be shown, or uh, the, at the time of your flight, the pass could also be shown. So with no effort on your part, those passes will automatically appear. And uh, then what you can do is if you want to edit, update this pass, you can uh, go back in here and edit those options that we saw earlier. Or you, just like in the mail application, you can simply swipe down and you'll see it couldn't update the pass, of course, because this isn't working at the moment. Uh, but we can go ahead and head over to this website. I'm going to update the pass and show you guys the notification that you would receive. Uh, so let's say the uh, gate or the flight of my boarding pass has changed. So we're going to go to the auxiliary fields here. And we're going to edit the f value for the flight number. So currently it's 815. Sorry about that. We're going to change it to 700. She's done. We're going to choose create. And now what we're doing is going is updating the boarding pass. You'll see it now says update. And if we select update, you'll see we now have received a notification letting us know that the flight number has changed to 700. So that's how that looks. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get these passes to show up in the lock screen yet. But if I do get that working, I will uh, definitely upload another video to show you guys that. And then last but not least, I just wanted to show you guys the delete animation. This is shown off at the uh, Worldwide Developers Conference. So if you select delete, you'll see it's now that got that nice shredding animation there. So this has been a look at the new Passbook application coming in iOS 6 this fall. And I will see you guys in the next video.